<clears throat> Hello to everybody, Max Nevermore is here and as you can see I did not move yet. I did not even found any proper apartments because everything is fulfilled with agencies. No, uh, there is no, how, how should I say this? Uh, there is no private individuals uh, no ads from private individuals I should say so I don't wanna pay a half of uh, my sum for the first month to random agencies so yeah Sooner or later I'm gonna move, but I don't know when and where, but I wanna move so much. So okay, for today let's continue and let's uh, clean the tomb of the heretic Morganeth, the Grand Magus of the Night. Uh, so I hope that this uh, what should I say? This location will not take so much. Also, I need to receive some hate from the beasts. Can beasts uh, hate me a bit more than usual? Please, thank you. Then the music here. Ooh, I'm very musically aesthetic person, so yeah. Don't look at me weird. I just love the music aesthetics. Yeah, I've heard it like a thousand times, but it's still so good. I enjoy it so much. Plug news. Oh, there was a second one. Okay, what about oh, three hundred? There is a certain uh, these nuts uh, joke, which is actually connected with this number. I mean the Russian these nuts joke, the Russian anal an analog of these nuts joke, I should say. Okay, uh, so. Wait, I forgot there is a savage totem. That means... Ah, not hated, a uh, nemesis. I need uh, a nemesis beast, please. Just a little bit more. Blood Reaper's Mark. Okay. Also, two ointments. Flame Drinker and Venom Guard. I just used it. Just because. Because I can. Come on, for real? What a predicament from your side. Uh, 
Also, I'm gonna reach the level 77 soon. Back to Eldritch's. Wow, wow. Damn, neighbors here are so noisy. What the hell was that? There was actually two of them, I guess. Lapidated urn with the Duchess report. The page two. Okay. We stand before the gates of, to the gardens of Atep, and immediately a sense of wrongness surrounds us. There is a foulness in the air that cannot be described by mortal senses. Wait. Uh, okay, I thought my model is broken again. Many had already fled this befalled place. Those less fortunate had already succumbed to the madness and required the release of death. Our orders were clear. No taste of the corruption of night is to escape the valley. With a heavy heart we do what is necessary for the good of the Corvan people. The closer we get to the court of the Magi, the stranger the sights become. The men are uneasy, but the horses are inconsolable. The remainder of the journey will be on foot. Just a pack of monsters and we will be the level 77 and we will finally and try the damnation, which is very looking great on us. Looking very great on us. Woo! Treacherous domain, tomb of the heretic. Monsters are brutal, with more often critical strikes but reduced damage. <laughs> brutal, cruel, and corrupted. Corrupted, okay, not okay, uh, critical strikes are extra lethal. <laughs> More often, miss, okay. They just compensate, okay, I guess. Less offensive ability. <laughs> so, basically, they are actually got balanced their criti uh, critical damage good the music is still playing though maybe because we're outside and ah because there is the endless night yeah, I forgot. Wait, there is no knight here, but there is a knight here. What the heck? Get them celestials. Hey, the sun is back. Wait a second, let me check something. Okay, the location here is pretty big though, and it requires the skeleton key. Maybe I should go to this location after the walkthrough of 
the Forgotten Gods, as I believe. And that, oh, oh, wow. Oh. I guess it will be two hundred, two hundreds. Oh, now I'm hated with the Eldritch Horrors. What the hell was that, actually? Immaterial Edge. Looks sick, but... We don't need it, though. Okay, plus 100. Devotion points. Uh, oh, vitality and chaos damage. Two more devotion points, and that will be cool. That's it. No, no, no! You cannot get me here. You won't get me here. But you can get me here, actually. Okay, that was very loud, I guess, I don't know. Or maybe the desktop audio should be okay. Also, yeah. Okay, for now, what do we have here? Let's put it here. Okay, now we're waddling here. With the damnation. Damnation. The night is near. I know it, you will wake up. What about you? Or think? We can just go bonk them very hard. Or maybe we can just even ignore them. Wait a second, before we will go here... Real? Stop dodging. Yeah, we also skipped the... Uh, stash with the hidden foils. Organet's Invitation. The Grand Magus sure has a way with words, 
I feel that I'm merely caving to his flowery speeches and excess flattery. But if the six others had already joined him in this endeavor, then there must be some merit to his pursuits. His methods have always been unorthodox for lack of a better word, but if we are not to topple a system that's been in place for centuries, perhaps unorthodox is exactly what we need. I too tire of the chokehold the Corvan priests have upon the study of the vast celestial veil. I think they often forgot they are not gods. What gives them the right to judge us for wishing to know more of our makers? Do they fear what lies we may uncover? And now with rumors of the temple of the Eldritch Sun growing cold, perhaps we are at the... Damn, what is this word? Precipice of change our stagnant society desperately needs. The prospect of being part of the push over this veritable edge has my spine tingling with the possibilities. Jai Arisia. Oh. The wrong road, I guess. <clears throat> The bonk is wild here. Okay, Morganet's Lessons Page first. Brothers and sisters of the moon, I implore you to listen. Like me, you surely feel the absence of the Eldritch Sun's warmth upon our lands. The priests may deny it, the vizier may create spectacles upon the temple steps, but we are all know the undeniable truth. The Corvin people have been abandoned before the vastness of the celestial veil by an uncaring god. But will we stand idle as our enemies encroach upon us? Of course not, brothers and sisters. We are the Corvin people. Our steel is mighty and our knowledge of the arcane is without compare. Join me in the gardens of Atep. Let us cast down the shackles of the priests sitting upon the golden thrones in Corvin City. We will carve a new future from the tapestry of faith. Uh, fate. Unforged. Uh, one forged by our own hand and not by the whims of fickle gods. Praise, praise, praise the sun. Praise, praise, praise the sun. Praise. Praise, 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 praise. Yeah, there. Sure thing, heretics. Going against the sun. Come on. The thing which I will go missing these days because the autumn and winter in Siberia are actually dark seasons. Like, as I believe, only six hours of the daylight. Like, come on. This is definitely quite depressing, isn't it? It does the wire might. This ancient armor, dude. Oh, here. Uh, okay.
Ah, yes, I forgot that, uh, yeah, I actually crafted Damnation. And also I crafted uh, Blood Render. Yeah, I farmed some uh, items which are... which require their... Wait, I was... What did they wanted to say actually? I farmed the items which are required for their uh, creation. Required, I should say. Where is the keeper? Открывай, сука! There you are. Ай, блядь! He just slipped. Okay, before we will unseal these gates, let's visit our smuggler. And I finally hated by the Eldritch Wars. I'll give you a good price on what I've got left. Put it to good use. Words of Ran. Ah, wait, this is a um, Corvan City quest. Never mind. Okay, let's put all of these items. Here. Okay, so by the way, yeah, this is the dead end location, the best location, and we will be not able to use our rift travel after entering this the court of the Magi. What the hell is this music? Where does it come from? Hello, for one damn it. Damn. Second page. Look, it's blue. You're not my Magi. While we may be delving into the unknown, we are not doing so blindly. Here with the gardens of a depth 
The Iris of Night offers us a glimpse into the tapestry beyond. Watch as the stars dwindle and fade at its edges. Witness as the insatiable darkness eats away at what the gods have wrought. That, my friends, is true power. The power to unravel even the will of the gods. This is what we seek and what we will learn to master. In that, I will be your honored guide. I have peered into its infinity and know how to navigate its pitfalls. It is only natural to fear this emptiness, this absence of all things, but if you give yourself fully to unraveling its secrets, we will surpass even the gods the priesthood claims to speak for. Do not mistake my enthusiasm for rash action, however. It is imperative that we proceed with caution, not just for the integrity of our spellcraft, but to shield ourselves from the prying eyes of the priesthood, so that each of us knows we do not stand alone. I have forged eight rings. These jewels not only serve as a symbol binding us in this conclave, they will ward us against unwanted attention from our plane and the one beyond. Oh, you're blue. And you guys are damn damned. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. After death damage. Some sure thing weird after death huge damage. Night claws. Vendrog. Oh, night maggots. Hello there! The enemy boss has been killed, the Scion of Hunger, as the map says. Oh, can he close this freaking... Uh... Can he close this portal somehow, or what? Excuse me? Is this a uh, freaking farm location? What the fuck casted this? Another storm amulet. I am definitely not gonna use this one. These Eldritch Beasts do not give me the bad reputation for beasts, actually.
Get the fuck out of here. Wow. Wow. Yugol. What have you done here? Man. Argoneth released one hell of a monster here. Hey guys, where you are? Ponsar? I killed someone already? Wait, there is only two of you? Go to seven, excuse me? Okay, the pistol, earth torture, and also it gives us the rain of fire. Okay, it's definitely worse than the plague born revolver. <clears throat> Magi armor, though. Confluence of the Magi, two pieces of it. What? Oh, chaos and vitality damage. Hmm. Okay, okay, all right, all right, already then. Yes, I'm gonna sell the Magi armor. Yeah. Ward around the office. <clears throat> The world around us is a lie perpetrated by the evils of the priests. We alone stand as heralds of truth in a shattered reality. Silence of eternal night. Morganeth may have opened our eyes to the truth, but the whispers have opened our hearts to the solution. It breathes outside and within the black tendrils of the eternal night cr cradle, the unmaking of all. The flutes of despair sing their and we alone dance to their blissful tune. The betrayers come for us now, but they have not yet seen the beauty of the abyss. But they will, they all will. Even as the end of our mortal forms rapidly approaches, the whispers of Morganet emanate from within our minds. We were deceived, for in the forging of the rings, Morganet told but seven lies. His ring was made to be above all. He is the prime, the one to bring us all to the abyss and the one who will bring us back. They come. They come. <clears throat> Let the horrors of unreality begin. Let them hear the whispers too. 
for in the end of all things, only nothingness remain. Taurot, Shurot, Anubar, Basti, Orisia, Honsar, Cetris. Okay, we killed Honsar and the another one. I guess it was uh, Taurot. Or maybe Cetris. Who was the queen? I wonder. Oh, and we accidentally killed another sign of hunger. Damn, now it feels like the level up is going very low, uh, very low energy, or uh, very slow, actually. Not very low, but very slow. What the fuck is this, dude? Welcome, punch! Lucas report page three. Wait, prismatic uh, ghost maggots? What? What the hell was that noise? What we found inside the gardens defies comprehension. Words fail me at the sight of this depravity. The earth itself has been eaten away by nothingness. The wind-blown sands fall off the shattered... Oh, yeah. wait. Okay. Oh, you stop to talk and... Lucas report, page 3. What we found inside the gardens defies comprehension. Words fail me at the sight of this depravity. The earth itself has been eaten away by nothingness. The wind-blown sands fall off the shattered edges and vanish into the abyss beyond. Several men have balked at their sight. Their mornings, rations, Mixed into the already unbearable tapestry painted before us by, by Morganet's heresy. The local wildlife has succumbed as well. Creatures of the night that would be a natural sight in any other part of the basin are distorted and wrong here. The claws at their own flesh in some vain attempt to escape the madness of their new reality. I have no doubts we will be reduced to a similar Breathing mess, should we remain here too long. The seven acolytes of Morganet's folly were a prime example to this insanity. As we approached, we could hear them babbling in strange tongues. They stood gathered around a pile of human bones, as if chanting a ritual. A dark aura emanated from them that was remin reminiscent of the void in this place apart. We took no chance. If the ma Magi were performing a spell, then it was best that they not finished it in our presence. We greatly outnumbered them, even having several of the temple stewards among our, our number. 
<clears throat> and despite having the element of surprise, the raw power on display by these traitors was astounding to behold. Scores of my men vanished in an instant. Others were torn apart by hungry tentacles. But by the light of the eldritch sun we were triumphant. What bit of darkness these fools taped into has been expunged by fire and their forsaken soul trapped by the priests. They will know no rest. Death will offer them no release from the nightmare they had created. While this small victory brings what remains of us some solace, we all know that the greater threat still awaits deeper inside the realm of the night. The Grand Magus Morganeth still stands. Okay, let's proceed further. This motherfucker just vomited on me something red. Okay. Oh, also. I am marked, enemies are unstoppable, and they are leeching. Okay, so this place, Margaret's Folly, is fulfilled with these kind of celestials. And yeah, signs of hunger are appearing, actually, more often. Celestial maggots, by the way. Damn, they are hungry. And now I remember why this location was so painful for a walkthrough. Because of these huge amounts of zones. Can you slap me? No, you cannot. If you could, I would punch you back. Look 
what what did they they done? They disrupted the reality. Sion and famine. Sion of or Sion. Oh, this is the dementia once again. Okay, let's get the hell out of here.
and I went to farm this carp shell. Okay. I could not just spend the time. Okay, or maybe I need some. I do not remember. Yeah, let's have some. Yeah, I probably went to farm the scarab shell. Okay, the malvolence is palpable this deep into the abyss. You can feel it in the air like a whisper that gnaws at you. Slow blade to the nerves. I have seen it in the eyes of the man. A harrowed look, pale and white eyed. <laughs> ah, pale and white eyed. Last night the whole of the camp was awoken by a ghastly shrieking. One of my captains was carving his own arm like a meat shank, screaming about the bugs under the skin. Several others had wandered off without a word to their superiors. We never saw them again. Further tragedy struck as we neared Organes Fall Altar. One of the temple stewards, a mighty construct blessed by the Eldritch Sun, suddenly collapsed as unearthly tendrils wrapped themselves around its legs. Several of my men approached to investigate only to find themselves in the mercy of our very ally. The steward rose again, but its eyes no longer shone with the brilliance of the temple fire. Instead, they were the black of the abyss claimed by the foulness threatened, uh, threatening to consume us all. Those nearest to the steward were the first to fall, cleaved in two by its mighty halberd. Several more turned to ash, when the construct exhaled the void itself. Ironically, it would be the very blessings of the Eldritch Sun that proved the steward's undoing. With a fiery rune emblazoned in the air, I forced the guardian to the edge of nothingness, and several of our magi blasted it with spells and sent it plummeting into the same void that now controlled it. If such corruption can claim even our mightiest guardians, then by the light of Ron we must hurry. Let's pick this one as well. The vitality damage here is bigger. You know what, I'm not gonna... Okay, now you're so annoying.
Sign of the sense, you said. We already got her. High Priest Duha has made the ultimate sacrifice for the safety and the integrity of the Corvan faith. But we must not allow ourselves to grow complacent in the wake of this heresy. While the Corvan people may never learn of Morganet's folly, the land will not forget the crimes committed against her. The Black Vound festers beyond the barrier, eager to spread its mal malvolence. This must never come to pass. With the blessing of our elders, I invoke the ancient rites. The infinite Corvan sands will be called to rise up in, def in defiance of this blasphemy. They shall bear a new guardian, a scion of the sands that will embody the wrath and fury of the Corvan's land. Corvan lands. In this we are united. In this we beckon. Kalagadra, an aim which will strike terror into the creatures of night. And now we are going to deal with Whoa, Morganeth. Calm down, please. There you are. I guess he deserves a 100. Good 100. And I'm honored with the Cult of Beastmeal as well. Hmm, but not yet by the Cult of Dweek, so... Okay, plus 100, okay? Wait, where are the memories of Morganeth? Okay, they did not fall out of him. Okay, let's read it. Merciful Atep, 
Tell me what I must do. The tendrils of night claw at my waking thoughts, and the abyss fills my dreams. The world of day no longer comforts me. I've peered beyond the far reaches of the tapestry of the gods. I knew not what to expect, but I expected something. What awaited my sight was the absence of anything at all. In this void, I found answers to the questions I did not know I asked. Words filled my mind that carried no meaning and yet I was familiar with them, like the comfort of a warm hearth of a winter's night. How could I deny such beauty, such perfection? The tapestry of the gods is a disease, a stain upon the un uniformity of the abyss. To defy it is sheer folly. The lights of the gods have been lifted from my eyes, but others stand blind around me. They too shall be made to see. No, no, they will not un understand. They will falter and everything will shatter. They cannot merely be shown the truth, they must be remade to serve it. Yes, I will bind them in darkness, bind them to, to my will, so that all I can be brought to the maker's embrace. The anointed hour arrives, yes. They come, but they come too late. The iris points the way to the dawn of eternal night. When the devoured stars align, the tendrils of hunger will unravel the very earth, and the end shall begin at, as it must. And they can do it. The shadows take form, the seven will rise even more. And when they come for me, the fools will all be made to see. Morgana the Unmaker is here, and here forever he shall be. Okay, Morganet's collection. And we've got the Iris of the Eternal Night. The Iris trembles with terrifying potential. Its jewel seems duller in sunlight. And Morganet's Lessons, Part 3. It is as I told you, my brothers and sisters in darkness. The betrayers inevitably learned of our actions. They come. Oh, they come. They bring their runes and their constructs of mortal war, but they will soon learn that one cannot defy the ultimate truth. The abyss calls to us all. We may fight it, resist it, but in the end we will all be consumed by it. The gods learned this truth long ago, and even they must ultimately submit. Their stars will not defy their fate forever. The conduit of the eternal night is complete. Its unlight will bask the stars in shadow and usher in the un unmaking. It matters not what happens to us this day. The betrayers at the temple are too late. The barrier is no more. The great devourer has tasted of our bounty and will be held back no longer. They may reap and tear at our flesh, they may even triumph over our mortal forms, but they have not peered into the abyss as we have. They know nothing of what awaits and what is yet to come. Go forth into eternity, my Magi. What the hell is this? Inbound spell blade. Damn, this dagger looks very cool. Fortunately, we cannot use it. Uh, yeah. Okay, so.
Now we can escape the night. And we also can escape this place. Okay, where sh should we bring this um, iris? I guess... Come see what's left of my wares. To Riggs, I guess, yeah. Okay, if we can reach the honor reputation with Dweek, which items would I be happy to receive from this? Uh, I guess this Solbert Tome, uh, Dweek's Great Sword. I think it will be way much better than Solil's Beheader. I'm sorry, but. This vitality damage and Ravenous Earth and Wild Eruption plus 4 and plus 2 skills in Necromancer Mastery is too sick to not take. Uh, what's next? Yeah, we actually need to pick up some rings as well. Bismil, let's check Bismil as well. Yeah, we can use the rate of with Bismil as well. What can you offer to me here? Here, oh wait. Rot wine powder. Okay. And also. Oh, this pistol. This male's hand cannon. This male's warhammer? I do think it will be better than Skepter, though. But sure, why not? Let's. This one is also very cool. Soul breaker. Mm. Let's try this one. Let's try this one. We've bought a lot of shit in um, this meal. Okay, anything else you can offer to me, guys? Wait a second.
I should grab this one, maybe. Ah, uh, I need Scarab Carapace for one. Where did I need a freaking... Oh, yeah. Scorpus Bludgeon. Let's actually grab the Vampiris as well, why not? Vector Immortality. Corruption of Hysteria. Wait, I have a Gluttony. I don't have a gluttony. You gotta be shitting me. <laughs> Let's pull out this stuff here. Put that pull. Yeah, we should buy a scarab. Wait. We required Scarab Shell somewhere. Okay. Fucking hell, I pressed Hysteria. Sorry, I I was old by the ancestors. They require my help. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, I remember. I was I needed a scarab shell for the blood render. Now I don't need it anymore. I can actually craft a hex flame. Wait, I cannot. <laughs> Never mind. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. You did not see anything? Okay, the level 84 promises to be very, very, very funny. Same as the level 90. <laughs> okay, how long are we streaming? One with a half hours. Okay, we've completed. Oh, wait, we need to visit Reeks. Well, I could have forget. Got anything from me? Okay. I have the iris, but maybe actually I should uh, did the walkthrough of the main quest, which will be completed very soon. Well, depends on my situation with the moving. But damn, damn boy, make it two. Oh, there is a lot of stuff awaits oh, here. Okay, so for now, we've completed the additional bonus location, which is supposed to be the after game, after the main uh, Forgotten Gods game location, but we completed it now. We've got the Iris, we killed the Morganeth motherfucker. And yeah, I love this sound. Like some something just fell off and broke. Next stream, we will kill Korvak. And of course, we will Kaiman. We will kill uh, Kaiman as well. We'll come. We will complete a bit of these quests as well. Uh, shall we actually get the nemesis with? our beasts let's farm some uh, negative reputation for the beast nemesis it must be very cold The farm here goes very sad. I need more uh I need more actual like hero monster. For real for real. Okay. 
two scarps count as beasts? They're insectoids though. But still. Oh, they they do count. Oh, so the sand close lies. When we actually needed this for uh, one certain gun. Do beastkin uh, count as well? Okay, Galgar. Eighty two. Yes, insectoids actually count. They do count. Great. Okay, let's visit one certain place. Fulfilled with scarabs. Only 75. Oh, come on. Here we go. Sixty-one only. Oh wait, we also skip the sixty-nine. Fifty-nine. Huh. Okay, do be skin uh, count as well. Forty-six. They might do. Okay, two monsters equal one point. Yeah, they do count. Troubles do count as well. Getting our first nemesis with beasts. Which is very cool. Damn, these bugs are nasty. Wait, how many? 23? Come on! Let's go! Then only five. Am I? For real? Okay, let's visit uh, what infernal wastes, and we will definitely get some. One hundred percent. Wait, I can pick with all of them. No, oh, they just here here. Okay, five units of the reputation. Yes, you have reached nemesis. That is beasts. Nemesis with beast sick. Okay. I guess on this note we can end the stream.
me actually put all of these craft items here. So, we've reached the nemesis with beasts, and I hope we will reach it soon with other uh, factions. At least, hate it with Kondli Kank and Kaiman's Chosen. Also would be very cool to reach it with Averials and Ktonians. Urban and Dead, also sure thing. Yay. Uh, also some revered reputation with others. Uh, okay, the honor to reputation with Cult of Drake is coming up soon. Okay, let's speak in the vanguard of the three. Do you have Thank you for your assistance. Okay, uh, uh, nothing. Okay, maybe because I did not choose the this meal. Okay. The actual uh, simple knight and the vanguard of the three came here. And also, it came to my place because it's 8 p.m. It's almost, you can see. Okay, I'm gonna have some rest uh, before uh, hard working, uh, I don't know, two days, definitely. I do not know will I be able to stream at the... Sunday and Monday, will I be able to stream the newest two weeks, by the way? Okay, so for now, I want to say one thing. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon. Oscar